everyone. I've had a lot of people asking lately about how the cloth diapering is going, so I thought I would do an update. I'm currently using a mix of homemade and commercially made pocket diapers and have about 10 prefolds for backups. We started cloth diapering when Peyton was about six weeks old because we wanted to adjust to life with a baby and let Peyton grow a little bit before we started because we um, didn't have any newborn size diapers. All we had were size smalls and then the one size diapers. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not talking very loud, it's because Peyton is sleeping uh, literally about four feet away from me right now and um, I don't want to wake her up just yet it's from her nap. So anyway, for the DIY diapers, my mom helped me with making them while I was pregnant and the PUL was given to me by one of my awesome viewers and so they are almost all yellow on the outside and then they have different colors of flannel on the insides and then for the inserts I used um, these microfiber towels and I bought these these are when like the uh, towels that people use in like um, cleaning their cars and stuff and I got a pack of them for $13 at Sam's and I got that idea from uh, Crafty Gemini so what we would do is cut off a 4 inch strip from the bottom these measure um, 16 by 16 and then we would cut what was left into 4 inch strips so we'd have 4 of those and then the one here we would cut an additional 4 inches off of so that we had um, five pieces that measured four by 12 inches so out of every two towels we could get uh, five inserts that were two layers of this thick and then we covered it with a piece of flannel on the front and the back and this was just an old um, flannel sheet that we had and we just flipped it inside out and um, so this is one diaper insert for one of these DIY pocket diapers. So for overnight this insert has four layers of the microfiber and then the layer of the flannel on the front and back and what I do is I layer it over a regular soaker so that there is four layers of flannel and six layers of microfiber and this will last us all night. It'll last from like um, 8.30 p.m. to like 7.30 the next morning without any leaks the majority of the time. So those inserts are perfect for these size small diapers and um, since we could get so many out of each towel we only used 10 of the microfiber towels that came in the pack. There were 30 in the pack so we still have 20 left for when Peyton moves up to the larger size diapers. So a regular soaker lasts about two hours during the daytime and uh, first thing in the morning I put Peyton in a diaper that actually has two of the regular soakers because I've noticed that she pees a lot first thing in the morning and so we have our um, overnight diapers that are the orange ones and then the first thing in the morning diapers are the blue ones so these are stuffed with the um, the six layers and then the blue one is stuffed with two of these and that's just our routine so that when I do cloth diaper laundry I go ahead and just stuff these accordingly and then the rest of the diapers that are over here are just stuffed with um, just a single insert. I currently do diaper laundry every two days because we have about 20 diapers that we are currently using. Diaper laundry was today but I don't have them all back in here yet because uh, I didn't want to wake Peyton up with the loud velcro sounds so I'm not done stuffing all her diapers. But anyway so we do laundry about every two days and that has worked out really well. And uh, as always, when I talk about cloth diapering, I will put a playlist down below for um, any and all cloth diaper info that you might want to know. And that is from my friend Archie. She makes cloth diapers. She has cloth diapered for over two years now, and she has tons of great info. Since my mom and I made a lot of the diapers, and then the rest were passed on to me um, secondhand, which... Um, 
might freak some people out, but all you do is make sure they are washed very thoroughly with bleach and they are good to go. Um, but since we got most of the diapers that way and then um, some were given to us and all that, we are only uh, $20.00 into cloth diapering, $20, which is less than the cost of one box of disposable diapers. So we have saved a ton of money, and for those who are wondering, our water bill has not gone up a single penny since Peyton was born. Um, our gas bill has gone up only slightly, but that is because it not only fuels our water tank, but it also is our heater, and we have been running the heater a lot more in our house since Peyton was born because um, she was born in the winter, and we wanted to make sure our home was warm enough for her as a newborn. And I still have plenty of supplies for making larger diapers for Wiz as she grows, and uh, so we could technically make it all the way through Peyton's cloth diapering experience uh, with this only $20, but I will probably cave and buy some cute diapers as she gets bigger. Um, and these are not all of my stash. I am holding some back. They are um, one size diapers and they are rather large. So I've been saving those, but um, for her to grow a little more into first. But yeah, we have been keeping it very, very affordable. Um, there's definitely uh, other materials and things you can use out there, but we are going with what was affordable and what was on hand, and so it has worked out great for us. I forgot to mention that um, most of, well, all of the cot diapers that we've made so far were made using this Babyville Boutique book. Uh, it comes with the patterns and all the instructions for making them, and um, it's the only type of diaper I had made up until this week. So this week I did make a new diaper. It's the first one I've made since Peyton was born, and it's the first time I've used snaps for a project, and it's the first time I've made a diaper that did not come from the Babyville Boutique book. So I made this diaper. It has hidden PUL. It still has the same yellow PUL as all the rest of the diapers. It's just hidden. And I did that just because I wanted something pretty for her and um, I really like how it turned out. Sorry it's covered in fuzz. I literally just finished it. And um, it works the same way as the other ones where you stuff the insert in and then it can be adjusted based on the child's size. So you just take these and you can snap them down, which makes the diaper quite a bit shorter. And then you just snap this however far in you need. And yeah, I really like how it turned out. I used the different colors snaps because I didn't have enough of one color. Um, and then I made inserts for it. I was trying out something different. I and making them larger for one thing because the diaper is bigger and I'm still using the microfiber towels. I stacked two towels up and then two layers of flannel on one side, two layers of flannel on the other and then sewed these lines across it. It was the full size of the towels. So I have three of them here. And then I cut them apart and I'm trying to serge along the edges to finish them, but my serger is being annoying and um, it kept breaking the threads and I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I will try it again later, but um, the side that I got done looks good. <laughs> but um, So I'll get that done and then she will have this diaper and then um, I'm going to make her some more using this pattern just in the next size up because this is the small I want to make her mediums and then we'll see how this one size works for her this is from a pattern that I uh, just found on the internet so I just wanted to make one and see how it would turn out and so we'll try that out and see how it goes and then I'll decide if I want to make more of those or not so that is pretty much it for my update. Sorry, I rambled a lot more than I intended to. Um, yeah, but if you have any uh, comments or questions or anything, you can leave them below in the comment section. And I have a lot more videos planned, so make sure you're subscribed for those. And I will see you all again later. Bye!